What are you thinking? Oh, nothing much. Tell me anyway. Oh, I was just remembering. Remembering what? A little naive valley girl. Yeah? Does she have a name? Mm-hmm. Brooke. Hmm. Oh, it's not me. It was somebody totally different. Ah. Five years ago. Oh, okay. Tell me about it. Well, she liked to read newspaper articles and magazines and... Current events, things like that. Actually, her interests ran more along the line of the society page. Mm. See, it was a whole new world to her. It was a part of town that she knew nothing about. At least not by experience. And then, one day, she saw this picture in this newspaper. And it changed her life forever. Hmm. Must have been a hell of a picture. Yeah, it was. It was this picture of a man. A very attractive, famous playboy. Ooh, playboy, huh? Yeah. Although he was redeemed because he was getting married. Ain't that always the way, though? It's funny. What? Well, I guess I didn't really realize it at the time. But that day, I fell in love with the picture. And with the man. So, the young girl from the valley sees the picture in the paper and falls in love with the man. Well, that's only the beginning. You mean there's more? Oh, yes. There's much, much more. You see, <clears throat> this guy planned a very big wedding, this playboy did. And um, the bride collapsed right before she walked down the aisle, so they had to rush her to the hospital. And of course, the girl was very curious. She's never been around those kind of people before, and she so desperately wanted to see what his bride was like. So I got my sister to go down. You got your sister? No, correction. Um, the girl got her sister to go down to the hospital. Oh. And they got to see the very beautiful Caroline. And they also literally ran into the very handsome man and his brother. Really? Yeah. That's where she got to see him for the very first time. And it satisfied her for a very long time. And then... Months later, her mother asked her to help her cater a party. Imagine the girl's surprise when she found out the party was being held at her beloved's home. Ooh. <laughs> what luck. Did she jump at the opportunity? Well, you better believe it. Mm. And it was there that she met the object of her secret love. Ah. How did he stand up in the flesh? Well, he... he was... not bad. <sighs> he wasn't bad at all. So they met at a party. Yes. She a caterer's helper. And he the most attractive, appealing, gorgeous man 
in Beverly Hills. He was way out of her league, so she had nothing to lose. She offered him an hors d'oeuvre, and he smiled. He was very warm and charming. God, I'll never forget that moment. And it wasn't until months later that he took her out. So you do remember. Hey, I'm not a total slug. <laughs> it's the one in Caroline's wedding. Yes, you took me to the private dining room after the ceremony. And after that, you took me home. Where you kissed me for the very first time. You took me into your heart. Just to lose you over and over again. But not again. Never again, I hope. No. Never again. Just go out the side door. <laughs> oh, that was a wonderful hike. I haven't done that in years. You know, you really kept up with me well. I'm very proud of you. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> mm. What I'm thinking. What's that? Whether or not this is really happening to us. There are times, like now, when I'm just so overwhelmed by it all. Me too. Logan, um, do you think it's possible, even remotely possible, that our assumptions are wrong? Things really aren't as they seem. 
You mean about Eric and Stephanie? Yeah. Yeah, about mother and dad. Are they really in love with each other? More to the point, is dad in love with mother? What do you... It's all so perfect. I think that's what bothers me. Mother and dad coming together, which sets you free. Can you see how unreal that is? Bitch, we've been talking about this possibility for weeks, months. I know, don't get me wrong. I, I want to believe it, and for the most part, I do. It's just those odd moments when I realize that it's actually happening. I think that you and I could talk about a future. You could actually plan a future. <sighs> Seems like a miracle. And when I think of the fact that Dad is still in Europe, the two of you are married. Something in the back of my mind says, wait a minute. Wait just one minute. Rich, it, it's the, the letter, the letter your father wrote to Stephanie. That's what's freed us. That is what has made all the difference. Yeah. Let's talk about that letter. Ridge, you saw the letter. You read what it said. True. I even saw the envelope that it came in. Postmarked from Europe. Definitely from Dad. Yes. I guess I'm worried about nothing. Oh. Well, I have done a lot of that lately myself. You know, Logan, we are living a dream. I mean, used to think dreams came true, but apparently they do. Oh, so you're a believer again, huh? Yeah, I'm never a non-believer. Just had to be sure. You know, after a week like this last one, there's no turning back. You and me, from now on, can't be any other way. It's going to begin. One more. We've been saying that for the last Don't two hours. So I stop now. Don't forget you are my darling. Don't forget to be. I really wish we didn't have to go back today. Hey, we don't have to leave ever if we don't want to. Sounds fine with me. You'd give up your career, even at its peak? In a second. What about the fabric? Well, it's developed. My work is complete. 
you deserve a lot of credit. There's gonna be plenty of that when this goes public. I don't want that, Ridge. I don't want all the accolades and the praise. I want so much more out of life. I want you. You got me. Was it dreams ago? And what do you want? I want you. And Forrester. <laughs> In that order? In that order. Although you traveled far, my darling. You've never talked to me the way you have in these last couple of days. Logan, I don't want to lose you again. And if I have to mouth off more than I ought to, then fine. No problem. I'll mouth off. For better or for worse? Yeah, all that. A holiday wedding really isn't out of the realm of possibility. No, I suppose it isn't. Cooperation from Dad, all it would take is a trip to Nevada. <sighs> Dare I hope? You can do more mm. than hope. You can plan. <sighs> oh, Rich. We better leave. Just one more. Oh. I'll put on another tape. Okay. I can't believe you, Drew. I can't believe you. What the devil? What are you doing here? What the hell are you doing up here? Or is that a dumb question? Who told you we were here? No one. I put it together. All right, so what do you want? What do I want? The one this really doesn't involve you. It involves my father, your husband, Brooke. Remember? There are aspects to this. Don't you, know you start about. in with any aspects crap. What's going on here is cut and dry, Brooke. Infidelity. That's enough, Betrayal. Lord. Enough? Is that what you just said? Man, I haven't even started on you. Then start with me. What do you want to say to me? I'll tell you what I want to say. Down. You are really a piece of work, big brother. Your own father. And you're going to put a knife in his heart. You don't deserve to be called a forester. You are a disgrace to the name. You don't know what's going on here, Thorne. Yeah, it doesn't take much imagination to figure that out. Don't bother, Brooke. He's too hot to listen. Too hot? Yeah, I'm hot, Ridge, and I can get a lot hotter. Back off, Stop Thorne. it! Both of you, just stop it! Why don't you just open your ears and listen for a minute? To what, Brooke? Some stupid song and dance about mother and dad getting back together again? Come on. It's not a song and dance. You are rationalizing this whole thing. Any fool can see that. We're not rationalizing. Yeah, right. Then why didn't you do this before dad went away? If he was so gung-ho on mom, he wouldn't have cared. We didn't do anything, Thorn, until a letter came. A letter? What letter? The letter dad sent to mother. This week, while he was in Europe. A letter? What are you talking about? Dad wrote Mother a letter. A very romantic letter. He sent it from Europe, Thorne. She got it just a few days ago. What? In the letter, he makes it very clear how he feels. Dad wants Mother back. You read this. We both read it. Wait, he actually wrote it, Brooke. You're sure of that? Yes. We both saw the letter, Thorne. I even saw the envelope. It's from Dad, all right. No question about it. Why didn't she tell me about this? Because I don't think it's something Mother's anxious to let the world know about just yet. But she wanted you two to know about it. For obvious reasons. Oh, so that was your green light, wasn't it? Why shouldn't it be? Because you should have waited for Dad to get back. That's why. Look, I've waited long enough. 
He never should have divorced Mother in the first place. And don't start with me. I've got plenty to say about this. Yeah? Hi, honey. It's me. Mother, hi. What's up? Is something the matter? No, I'm just in the middle of something. What can I do for you? How are you and Brooke? We've been doing great. Just wonderful. That's lovely. Ridge, I think it's time for you to come home. We were going to today, but why? Your father's on his way back. Good. He's going to stop by our house. All right, then we'll, uh, we'll see you in a little while. Thanks, Mother. It's all academic now. Dad's on his way home. <laughs>